And here we are. Lala gets a Dolores to five star and gets a Gratz. I got four heroes to five star yesterday and nobody Gratz me. I might cry. I love this position so bad. Honestly, I'm willing to let my Deb kill my Serendi just so I can do this. Bad computers be bad. Poor age. Well, got up here a lot faster than I thought. Looks like Lord's going for it. Jeruchi. Let's look at him. Uh, Sigmia. Everybody else is pretty normal to be up here. Zilsferzia. I wonder if people just change their names. <laughs> well, let's check out these guys. Let's see what we're dealing with this week. Jiruchi. We, he's got Rage. Rage, Chenny, Mu, and Jack. All right, that's not going to be a problem for us. Uh, any team that's going to have any paper characters in it is not going to be a problem. He does have two rock. Oh man, Rage is so suave. Hey, what guild is he in? Clandestine? Hmm. That's just good battle score. Like, I wonder if there's just been some guilds I just don't play. Let's check out what you got going for you. That's strong. Oh, okay, it's strong because the 10% attack from this show immediately in the stats. Hmm. Still has a strong rage. Either any way you look at it. We'll see if it's Chenny. Not a very good Chenny. It's two pieces of beast. Uh, he's building his characters very, very well, though. Uh, if you want to talk about prioritization. Like, obviously, people don't have a million dollars lying around for their cell phone game computer competitive spirit. That's a strong actually. That's very defensive. Chenny. Mo and Jack. Pretty high attack for a Mo. Clearly just being used as a stun bot. Pretty good crit damage, gotta say.
This move is probably stronger than it looks. Also, again, very defensively. He's probably got the uh, defense uh, increase mastery on the Lord Mastery. It's the 4.5%. And, of course, Jack. Everybody's favorite punching bag. Yeah, nothing really special here. He probably got this set from a Tower of Dawn reward. I really wish he would use Lee, not Rage. Anyway, uh, probably going to be... I know the name, it's just he's, he's probably very new to competing for top 10. Um, but his team's good enough to win. Revenge. This guy's in a different guild, too. Jenny, Cleo, Serendi, Jack. So, this person obviously is a big fan of Lord uh, K. Checks. Stronger Jenny. Still a good crit rate, though. High defense, too. This is a very good Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Oh, but no Beast or Dasso. That's going to be painful, which means this Jenny just has some really good potentials on the gear. <laughs> Don't even need to check them. All right, let's check you out. Yeah, really nothing going on here other than the normal. All right, so it looks like there's a couple of players in the top ten this week that just have very um, not full set gear. Not that they're not spenders; they're obviously spending money. Like you don't get a Trinity set without spending money, um, but they don't have optimal sets. Like, like the thing. Is when you somebody having a Trinity set, I think to myself, really, and I think to myself, really, you have a Trinity set, but you don't have, like, you think of one ten star pull. Sorry, oh my God, one five star pull costs fifty bucks. It's like, 50, like, what the hell? <laughs> That's pretty bad. Hopefully, he got that Trinity set from uh, Tower of Dawn reward, something like that. But that's what it costs. That's outrageous, isn't it? That is a crap ton of money for basically, the, you know, worst case scenario, which happens very, very commonly. You get no set item at all. Just a bunch of fodder to get mod potions and enhancement materials. Um, but when I see characters that have invest people who have invested in things like this, hopefully it was from Tower of Dawn Ward. Because you think of how much money it would have cost to get that 5-star SS set. Probably for the same amount of money could have had a Dasmir set on all these characters. And a few pieces of Beast Rain. Like, it's it's really that simple. What What's going to give you a bigger impactful punch in the face? Yeah, look at the stupid chest piece. The stupid chest piece is a shield. It's counted as a shield. This helmet is counted as a necklace. That does make sense, because it's still going in your head. And the scythe, I believe, is a mace. Which, that's hit or miss if you want to call a mace a sword or a... Uh, uh, sorry, a scythe, a sword, or a mace. Because it's kind of both. It's a pole arm. All right, we got an hour. We're basically right on track. The only downside right now is I don't have anybody to revenge. It's going to be pretty hard to uh, let Jack survive. Fuck you. Probably let him know. Lord's a nice guy. I like him. Like, not in a I want to date him kind of way, but like, I totally pick him up at a bar and bring him home.
I have now spent, I believe, 120 crystals. I predicted it would cost me 150 to get up to rank one. Looks like I'm right on track with that. <sighs> but I'm not going for crystal value here. I'm going for I'm going for fame. For all I know, the heroes coming out are going to be PvP heroes, so I could spend my honor points on them. Because I am not leveling up Persona or Nox's skills. Ever. But I would totally buy a brand new hero, Maximo, just to be the first person to play with him. That's different. It sucks. It's just a new fun thing to do. Supposed to be something that I could spend my stuff on. Now, if they release two heroes in the uh, PvP, that's going to be screwing with me because I won't know which one to choose. I'll have to go and examine their skills and actually have all the information figured out beforehand, and that's not going to be fun. What if I found out that they both suck? What the hell? Man, I hate when I get to that point in the game where people can survive my second skill from Lee. It really makes me a sad panda. I think this was more exciting when I didn't think I was going to win all the time. The closer and closer I got to completing my build, um, my set item build, um, the worse the game has gotten. I just go back a couple, just not spend any money and just be a dreamer again. Like, it's nice to have people in the game that have a, like a, a lot invested uh, to compete with. Because it makes you feel better when you can beat them and stuff like that. But, like, when you just go from, you know, under 1,500 points to 3,500 points in a matter of a couple hours on the last day, sneaking in before the final rankings are, are in... Uh, Basically on auto, it's tough. That's tough to stay entertained. I'll just hope that this person can beat me while I'm not looking. I already forget what your reach is. is. I can't even spell Juichi right now. <laughs> <laughs> drink it too much. Oh, we lost a good. Oh, son of a bitch. Go, Bear Man. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna actually do damage. <laughs> uh, I guess it's turn three. He he could have still had the beast strain set turned on. I thought I was just going to, you know, poke him a little bit. Alright. Oh, 14. Okay, so I lied in the chat. Whatever. Do I have any people that have attacked me yet? Oh, I have a loss. Oh, paper sword. Fuck you. Oh, all these other people who attacked me, though. Thanks. <laughs> Looks like Lord's got a pretty steady hold on it, though. 130 points. I think he's going to let me go for it. I don't think Lord's going to get my way. Uh, he's always happy just with whatever. It's been a while since I had first, I think. Probably a few weeks. Pretty sure it was Blue Sapphire last week. He got two weeks in a row. Pretty sure.
Hmm. That was a bad move. I should have at least checked to see how strong the jack was first. I definitely should have attacked the Azrael. He's a paper. How do you take paper characters seriously? When you can do as much damage to them with a counter attack after they've attacked you twice. We have arrived at top 10. Go Team America, World Police. Dimitri and Shark Fudri, sweet. We get to attack guildies. What I like about attacking my guild members is I can just be like, don't revenge me or I'll kill you. Then again, if they if they do attack me, I have to find where they live. That could be a little bit annoying, but usually they they'll just listen to me and not attack me. Oh, we do have uh, some guild rules. Anybody going for first place is open game. Anybody who knows that they are in a contender for first place should not attack the first uh, place uh, attempters. Like, you can't just be somebody who can barely... Like, the Soviet um, was hoping for top 50 this week. Uh, and he was pretty, uh, pretty close, I'd like to think. Uh, but he's got a birthday party to go to now. Like, he's in the top 50 currently, and he might not be able to keep it. Um, it looks like uh, Lord's not going to be uh, playing out the whole time. Oh, okay. I can't say that. Oh, I did. Oops. Whatever. <sighs> well, I I think I understand why Jurich is playing high. It's just the teams haven't the teams this week have been like, there hasn't been many changes in the last three weeks, I'd like to say. There's been small additions of Yekaterina, but uh, they're not impactful enough to change the way the whole game's working. So, um, like, it's not that the game hasn't changed very much, it's just, it's becoming more and more refined. So, without the addition of the new characters, uh, nobody's going to be adding any other characters to their team. It's going to be up to people like uh, in the top 10, or, you know, I shouldn't even say top 10, people in the top 5, to just decide amongst themselves, you know what, I'm going to see if this character with insane sets can keep me my top place, because I'm bored of using my characters. Then other people will just think that they're good, instead of us being bored, and maybe they'll use them. But if you're looking for diversity in the game. But the closer and closer a game like this gets to refinement, it's like, these are the PvP heroes, these are the PvE heroes, this is the team you're looking for. What I like about PvE is there is no clear-cut, this is the PvE team. Like, I definitely, uh, in my PvE tier list, said this is the ultimate PvE team because this it was the only team that could literally handle anything. But the thing is, boss fights in Todd are so specific a lot of the time that uh, there is no universal thing. It's more like what characters are going to be good against this boss. And you just go with those characters instead. So, like if a character is really good, at, uh, has some immunity to percentage HP damage, obviously you'd be able to discern, well, this character is not going to be very good at 
Um, they get Jack, like the bosses are immune to a percent HP damage. Uh, Jack and Lena probably aren't the best heroes for this. What the? Did I just get dodged? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Huh. I should have had... Do I have three pieces of Beast Rain equipped? I I have to check that out. Anyway, I feel like I should have been able to hit that. Then we use the rest of the weekend after tonight. Did I just follow rank for winning? What the hell? Must have been revenged by somebody 3,000 points ago. No, I still only have one loss. I guess somebody else was just playing faster than me? Yep. Whatever. And another 30 crystals over. Gotta tell you, Real World has been stressful to the point recently that I haven't even been able to play this game. That's bullshit. That's how fucked up it is. I'm just so happy that it's Sunday night and I actually have some time to sit down. I thought I wasn't going to be able to, to play at this point in time. I thought I'd be still working away at the uh, the new place. <sighs> but I ended up getting tomorrow off of work. So now I, can, I got to push a lot of it to tomorrow and... I can actually sit here and be relaxed. It's so nice. Like, I don't even care how uh, repetitive all these matches are. <laughs> I wish the AI would fix that skill too, like buffs. Oh yeah, target this guy over here because he's the one who doesn't have it. Well, he gets it if I don't target him. I actually kind of don't like the fact that uh, Defense Mastery has become a thing. It doesn't change anything. It just minorly inconveniences me. Um, the reason I don't think it changes anything is because the percentile is 9%. What you get for defense is 4.5%, but 4.5% of everything. So it's debatable which one actually even gives you more. Ooh, that's that Sigmia guy who's in the top, like, 2 or 3 or 4, whatever. So I don't think that the defense mastery is better than the attack percent mastery. I just, I just don't feel that way. Um, there's... Like, I I'm, do consider my team to be tip-top tier, so... Obviously. I was floating around 130k battle score. Like, how could I not? Um, but... Like, there's characters just on the cusp of being... One-shot to me. Like, if I decide to go Persona's Trick uh, on Lee instead of... Uh, instead of taking the, uh, the Pathfinder set, for example, if I went away from movement HP and decided to go all damage, then I would kill them all. A lot of people asking if Crowhex quit. He's in the guild, I think, so. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was just really busy for the weekend, but maybe I'll have to kick him. Oh, I forgot. I My, ex my expedition's probably finished like an hour ago. Yep. Oh, Ray, that's the best one. 
sweet. We got crystals on both of them. <sighs> I don't know how I'm going to do this when uh, everybody's five star. I don't think I'll have everybody five star. I'm just going to go with the achievement. I believe it's 40. The achievement. All right, now taking applications applications for chance. If uh, you think you are good enough to take Croax's spot, I'm not going to take anybody who's not as strong as Croax. But if you're watching and you want to be a part of the greatest guild of all time, then um, leave a comment down below. I guess you try asking me in game. If you're too lazy to leave a comment, if you don't have an account. But uh, don't expect to find me. <sighs> so Sverzi, wasn't that the other person? Makes sense that I'd be running the top people now, though. That would be really awesome, actually, if. Uh, I just play the video back to me, and it turns out I haven't been speaking English the whole time. I've just been speaking drunken gibberish, and there's just been blah, 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 me slurring words and stuff. That'd be pretty awesome for me to watch a video later and realize that nothing I said actually was audible. Frick, the screen keeps moving around the wrong place. I just let Lee die this time. They need to fix the chat in this game, too. Okay, we got still an hour left, and there's so many people I want to attack me so I can get a revenge. I wonder if we're going to have any people sneaking in last minute. Okay, 
can George use a jacks? Oh, no, I can't, I guess. Dolores is gross. His mustache is just nose hairs, if you look closely. doesn't go for top 10, uh, sorry, top uh, rank. Or, I definitely think this party is good enough to do it. Like, I don't think there's any player that he can lose to if the, so long as the AI is controlling to. I don't, maybe he just hasn't played uh, against enough of them to have it rehearsed well enough. That's possible. Because it does take some time. Um, if you're fighting teams with 10, 20,000 more um, battle score than you, occasionally it will take some rehearsing. Like, you, you might be able to win every time, but you don't have a system. A system. And by, by a system done, I, I mean it's not like you have, oh, well, I'm playing this person on this map. This is the things I do, and every time I do it this way, I win. That's what I mean by having a system down. Lee! Oh good, you're just disarmed. You're not dead yet. Bear Man will save you. Maybe. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. <laughs> yes, he will. <laughs> uh, yeah, we gotta go save Lee. Can't have people dying on this trail. Oh, it's Korean Snowman. There's no way his name is real. If his name is real, I will freaking... I'll be so sad. Is his name... Like, somebody who speaks Korean, tell me what his name actually means. Because I don't think it's real. It looks like a, a snowman in Korean. And that's some other symbol. That, like, that's all there is to it. It can't be real. <laughs> I, just don't, I don't want it to be... That's the reason it can't be, because I just don't feel like it being real. Uh, <laughs> guess Lena will attack Deb this way.
been thinking about dropping uh, Deb for Alfred. Surprisingly. I know. But it would get me back to the 2-2 two two Rock and Scissor. Plus uh, the 4 movement. Seems like it's got some pretty crazy strategical value. Like that area he hits is massive. I think with a Klein set... Oh, the problem is with Alfred, he's got such low shitty attack. With a Klein set, he just becomes... Like, Lee. I think the Klein set gives him like a thousand attack more than what Lee naturally has, so... He's going to be one of those characters that barely breaks 31, 32,000 attack. Even with the addition of the set, so... It's not that awesome. This team's pretty strong, starting a, a first on this map anyway. Chris being a tank, not a good thing though. Forty minutes. Where are we at? Looks like it's just Lord we gotta pass. Um, it doesn't look like anybody's gonna be going really hard at it this week for some reason. Maybe everybody's getting shit on just like I am. It's that time of the month, you know, where you can't really have enough time to battle of honor. I feel like there were stronger opponents last week. Feels like a lot of top players just don't have the interest this week. It's pretty hard to kill Banran, so I send Deb to help out. That went a lot smoother if I just uh, used Serenity to heal Deb and then Deb to kill everything in her path. <sighs> Come on, man. I'm looking for, looking for Lord. I wonder why Aaron hasn't played uh, seriously for the last few weeks. Seems like it's been like a month since he actually went for it. Maybe in a month and a half now. What would be really awesome is if uh, D-Tune just came back and said, you know what, I'm back in. Like hell you're going over there. Frick. Man, the AI is so stupid. Oh, it's spooky again. Oh, two losses. Who's to attack me? 
Oh, it wasn't a guildy. Big eyes. Well, at least he's got 3,600. Might as well attack the guildies that I've already attacked. Can't stack revenges. That would be badass, though, if you could just stack revenges. So, in like, <laughs> you just don't attack anyone uh, that you think is gonna reach top 10 all week. And then you have like 10 fights against them that you can do in the last hour, and you just fight them over and over and over again and keep stomping their team on revenge. That would be really overpowered. <laughs> I feel the same way about shark salad dressing. I really wish this map was symmetrical. Alright, time to watch the Dodge show. One. Oh, can't make two. Oh, no. I think people don't think about with dodge is like, at best, it's a 60% chance. That's if I have zero hit rate. <sighs> dodge needs some serious rework. Cause how can you hate Dominique? She's a fucking ninja. <laughs> oh man, I know how you feel, bro. Chinese dungeon hardcore. Apparently there's a way to auto it. I did not know about this when I was farming Chenny. I had to do it all. Oh uh, man, Chenny and Nirvana like are the reason I, like, Chenny and Nirvana are so BS uh, to, to get. And now that Chenny is not as awesome as she was before, it's pretty gay. Like, when Chenny was, like, fucking amazing as shit, it was awesome. But now it's just really gay. Oh no, my tank is disarmed, but whatever will I do? I'll try attacking the guy with the worst stats in the game. And the coolest skill in the game. I forgot about this. Oh, whatever. It's too far long, far gone now. But uh, Lord, if you're watching, yeah, I completely agree. Our guild should never have attendance issues. We should probably uh, drop drop Bjork um, if he's not going to be active. Was it Bjork? I don't even remember. Whoever's not signing in every day. If 
be, if your day is so busy, but you can't sign in for three minutes just to hit attendance reward, it's pretty fucked up. Well, we're only second. We're still points away. So, I think because there's not very much competition this week, I'm just going to pass Lord the old fashioned way. And beat a bunch of people and hope I don't get revenge. pizza box. Like, it's been a very long time since there's been a battle of honor like this week. Did I go first? Sweet. Old habits die hard. Maybe it's just because a lot of people are going for Chenny? I, I, I got nothing. I'll let Lee actually die this time. I really don't understand people who have scissor heroes with charm immunity. Like, what rock is attacking your scissor attacker and not killing it? Like, my Lee for sure, but my Lee's got frickin' almost 20% damage reduction. You can't compare that to every single random person who's generally just gonna get one shot by a rock. In this specific specific case, Serendi. Well, you know that's not that's not fair. I guess I take that back completely. I wasn't thinking about Cleo. I'm gonna want to get like way up there too because I don't want people to revenge me and lose 100 points down and have Lord beat me. I might actually need a 200 point buffer. To be completely honest. Really? Frick. How did I get this opponent? <laughs> Looks like Sal's going to take top 50 this week with the uncompetitive attitude of people. Well, that wasn't smart of me. Whatever. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. I'll come back with the final part in the last 27 minutes. It's crunch time.